Greetings and welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to dual boot iOS 15's any version with iOS 14's any version without SHSH blobs and without a jailbreak on all your A11 and lower devices. The method shown in this video is completely free. You can use dual rain to perform this. Dual rain is a completely free software and you can get it for free from its official github page as you can see it right here dual rain can be used both on linux and mac os the commands are exactly the same if you scroll down you can see that we have a set of commands that we will use also guys you will need a 32 gb device for this 16 gb devices are out of question also on a10 and a11 you will have to disable passcode on a9 it is okay all right so for this tutorial we have this iphone se which is currently on ios 15.7.3 the latest as of now but you can do it on any version of ios 15 and we will dual boot it with ios 14.3 the good thing is that after dual booting your device if you ever reboot or run out of battery your device will directly boot into the main iOS version. All right. Now let's begin. The very first thing is to install some packages, some dependencies. It is very easy to do. All right. So for you, I made this easy install for dual rain. I will attach it with the description or the pinned command. You will have to just run install.sh and it will automatically install everything for you. Just need to be connected to the internet. While you are here, right click and open a new terminal. Now simply type sudo bash install.sh. Simply press enter and type in your password if you have on Linux. Press enter. Press enter again and wait for everything to be installed automatically. All right, guys, once everything is properly installed, you will see all done here with no errors. All right, now we are good to go. Now guys, again, go to the official GitHub page for dual rain. We will have to clone it. It is very easy. Just tap here, right click and copy it from here. Now you can clone it on your desktop or you can do it in downloads. The command is very simple. Right click, open a new terminal, git clone hyphen hyphen recursive and then simply paste what you have copied. Hit enter and it will clone dual rain. To your desktop or downloads i have already did it so i will close it from here i have already done it in downloads as you can see dual rain folder here the very next step is to get the ipsw for the ios version you want to dual boot so as you can see i have already downloaded an ipsw for ios 14.3 here now guys, to get the IPSW, you can use IPSW.me. It is also completely free. Now you can select your device from here, iPhone or iPad. So I'm using iPhone. Now select your iPhone from here. So I am using iPhone SE. So I will select it from here. Whatever your device is, just select it from here. Now simply scroll down and you can get the IPSW from here. So for example, 14.3. And now you can get it from here. All right. So once the IPSW has been downloaded, just copy it or you can cut it. Then go to dual range folder. You will see a folder for IPSW. And now simply paste the IPSW that you have downloaded. Now guys, to prepare your device for a dual boot, 
you can use this command dot slash dual boot dot sh space hyphen hyphen dual boot and then type in your version you want to dual boot now guys at this point connect your device and hit trust on it now get to the dual rent folder right click here open a new terminal and here we will type in the command sudo dot slash dual boot dot sh dual boot and the version so i want to dual boot i was 14.3 press enter and type in your password if you have one your device will go instantly into recovery mode now now from here get it into dfu press enter and follow the instructions and get it into dfu all right and then the process should begin it will extract the IPSW as you can see it right here it will now get some files now guys here it should boot the RAM disk that it has created so please wait you will have to wait here for like 20 to like 25 minutes so please wait patiently you will see verbos on your device so please leave it here and then guys it will start extracting the files so this will take about 5 to 10 minutes here again so please leave it all right guys now your device will go into recovery mode and then please get it into dfu so all right now the remaining process should start now here it will start performing some configuration so please let it complete all right guys now your device will go into recovery mode for the final time we will get it into dfu now guys this time your device should boot as you can see the process here all right as you can see it is now booting the device all right guys now you will see a progress bar on your device and your device will boot into the dual booted ios version for me it is 14.3 now you will set your device up for the very first time like you normally do all right so after setting it up i will show you all right guys as you can see i have successfully booted into ios 14.3 after setting it up and you can see the space here it took about 10 gb of space from my device as a dual boot now guys the good thing is that if you want to go back to ios 15's version you just have to restart the device all right as you can see you can boot into the main ios version without a computer whenever you restart all right all right guys once your boot files are created you can now simply boot to the dual booted ios version by using this command now simply go to the dual rain folder open a new terminal and now to boot the device back up sudo dot slash dual boot dot sh hyphen hyphen and boot and then we will get it into dfu again and guys you can see that i have uh, booted into the dual booted ios version once again you'll see that on ios 14.3 or any version your camera will not work your flash will not work what is the solution is to use ios 14.2 on a9 device and then your camera will work normally right guys as you can see we have more set of commands that you can use you can even jailbreak the dual booted ios version with torin or palerin using these commands to jailbreak with torin dot slash dual boot dot sh hyphen hyphen jailbreak and your version and hyphen hyphen torin and to jailbreak with the palerin jailbreak you can use hyphen hyphen jail underscore palerin and if you want to remove the dual boot you can use this command hyphen hyphen restore root fs and it will delete the dual boot 
and you will gain the space so here you can see the known issues the camera issue can be fixed using ld restart if you are on 14.3 or higher but it is recommended to use 14.2 and everything will work on a9 on iphone 7 the home button will not work so i have attached a guide in the description on how to enable it using assistive touch and then you can simply set your device up and then you can use some tweak to get iphone 10 gestures same case goes with 8 and 8 plus on iphone 10 the touch screen is not working you can do one more thing on iphone 7 or 7 plus you can simply activate assistive touch on your main ios version then dual boot and the assistive touch will be activated automatically on dual boot and then you can set your device up all right guys that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask me in the comment section and i will reply you and help you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care